Good morning, internet people. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. I've got little man handsome here with me. Hi. And Mr.'s here as well, except he is not in the car. He's actually over at the paying machine trying to figure out how it works. Seems a bit complicated, but anyways, um, this is your first time visiting me here. Hi, welcome. My name is Sierra. I'm an American who lives in England. Every week I make a video about my family's life here and whatever it is that we are up to on the weekly. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we've got another exciting Lake District area video for you today. And we'll be seeing Carlisle Castle and I don't know what else. We haven't really planned our day, which we never actually do. Before I get into the castle's history, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the city of Carlisle. Carlisle, which I'm probably saying it wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. If you're local, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, if I make any mistakes, I'm sorry. I'm just a human and I just read two books about it, um, the area. So anyway, Anyways, Carlisle is a border town-ish. It's not directly on the Scottish border, but it's quite close to the Scottish border. So it's way, way up there in Cumbria. And for the longest time, Carlisle was fought back and forth with between the Scots and the English. And so this area has been attacked many times and the castle has also been attacked many, 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 many times, which we'll talk about that in a second. Anyways, um, Carlisle area is kind of famous or you know well known for being like the hub of the two places and so it's got a huge not a huge but it's got a pretty good sized shopping district and quite a few vegan friendly restaurants which is pretty exciting so anyways first thing we're going to do today as it says in the title is we're going to go to Carlisle Castle and check it out now I only read the English Heritage Guidebook and also this guidebook right here um and tell us a little bit about the castle's history. Um, the, the history of Carlisle Castle is that it was originally built, depending on who you ask, one book says one, one says the other. One book says it was built by William the Conqueror, one says Henry the First. Take it out with what you will. I'm sorry the books don't agree, but aha, we figured it out. Okay, so William the Conqueror finds the castle, or he's like, hey, we're gonna build a castle here. And then Henry's like, um, yeah, so let's build it. There you go. But anyways, um, over the years it's been conquered and reconquered again by the Scots and the English, as well as served for as a functioning prison for quite a long time. One of their most known prisoners, by the way, was Mary, Queen of Scots, which if you follow her story, um, this is maybe a location that you want to visit since she was in prison here. Also within the castle, again, because the castle was attacked so many times, it's been rebuilt multiple times, but during the t reign of Henry VIII, one of his things he was, I guess, kind of known for in the area is for kind of rebuilding and refortifying the castle to make it the stronghold that it is today. And then also within the castle, not only is the historic castle, it also is the location for the Cumbria Military Life uh, museum, which if you're an English Heritage member, you can see both ca the castle and the museum for free with your membership. If you're just a visitor, I'm not sure how that works. I'll update you guys on that either in the description or along the bottom here. But yeah, we're going to get out of the car. Looks like Mr's coming back. So you see you in a bit. Let's go have a fun day out to the castle, they said. <laughs> but first, snackies. Wow, look at all those berries. They're a lot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's plenty in your range. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. He is not excited about the castle at all. Shut us out. They might shut us in there, you're right. Look, it's got stalactites. See the little like water drips? Yeah. Those are called stalactites. So like in a million years, they're probably gonna go all the way to the ground. Da 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 da. La 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 la. La 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 la. Well, that it. And that's the end of it. Oh. Is there something you want to show us? Okay. Oh no, are you gonna lock me in a door again? No. No, okay, what is it? It's not locked. Oh, it's oh, it's locked, huh? No. Oh dear. Oh no, daddy. What are you doing with that thing, huh? That's a big engine shop, very much track. Uh-huh. You gonna skewer some courgettes for us? <laughs> that is for cooking. They would put the food on the end of it and they would spin it in the fire. What do you think that was for, bud? 
sleep. Yeah, for sleeping. You want to take a nap? No. You're not ready for a nap. It's hard as heck. Yeah. <laughs> See. Yeah, it's hard. It's just wood. Yeah. Well, they say it gave King Richard the Third the hump. It says private. Yep. You can't go in there. Spiral staircase downward. Nope. You found a nice seat. It looks like a nice seat. You need the light. Yeah. Okay. You know how to work it? So you actually, you can see where that door over there goes to that pathway right there. Oh, that's You found something. What'd you find? Oh, I think they used to be able to put their guns in that hole. What? I think they used to put guns in that hole. You don't think? See, that's, it's a like bone. Looks like it was stopped up. I don't know. What are you boys looking at? I I've got the power of the prince. You got the power of the prince? Yeah, you die. If you, yeah, if I die, you're the prince. That's right. Well, you are the prince, but. No. Hello. Hello. What is at the table of discussion for the day? Uh, well, we're trying to figure out how to solve world hunger and world peace in the same day. Wow, I don't think anyone's done that. Well, first we all go vegan and then we all share. Good start. And then we hug. Everyone. Okay. You would be hugging for infinity. No, just the whole world hugs. Ah. And then all of a sudden we have world peace. Okay. We all love each other. Nice try. I mean, good, good plan. You don't like that plan, little man? No, tomorrow I die. Where is he learning this stuff? <laughs> English heritage, probably. Little man. I will die, you at the jail. You're gonna put me in the jail. Well, the jail's over there. No, I'm still the queen, sorry. For a light. You want my light? Why? Because it's really dark. It's really dark. Where are we going? Down to the dungeons. The dungeons. There could be a ghost town here. You don't know. Let's see. It was like three steps. It wasn't that scary. Oh. Oh, what's in there? That's molasses. It could be molasses in there. Good idea. This, I think, was where they would store molasses and things. Yeah. Over in the dungeon where they kept the bad guys. Um, and there's a few things in here that are interesting. In there, I'll show you the licking stone in a bit. But here in the wall, it looks like somebody who was imprisoned here, where is it? Right there, carved their name directly into the wall. What? I guess when you were a prisoner, you didn't have much free, much to do in your spare time, so you scraped your name into the wall. And we saw the same thing in other dungeons, including um, Tower of London. There was a lot of those. I think it's this. Is this it? The Licking Stone? Maybe? Oh yeah, right here. So during the time, well, even now, um, especially when they had prisoners in here, there was no water. And so during that time, they would come here and you can see there's a little bit of water coming. My fingers are now wet and dirty and that's the licking stone. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you can see one right there as well. You can see how they've been, there's even a little bit of water coming out right there already. You can see it and they were like licking in there. Who knows how many germs I've picked up just now. But there's one there, and I think probably there. And then there's a big hole over here, so I'm wondering if maybe that's one as well. But, hmm. I bring him to this fancy cool castle. This is what they want to do. Oh, okay, go ahead. Well, you don't know if you're gonna get out. Another one of the many cells where they used to keep the bad guys. And I guess here is where the guards would like kind of hang out and stuff. At least that makes sense because that's where the fireplace is. Do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Are you counting them? Are you counting them? I think it might be more dirt than dust. Ooh. Goodness, can't take you boys anywhere, can I? Look. But what is it? It's um a direction. Directions? I don't know what is that. <laughs> so I guess you could maybe call it graffiti, but it's it's really yeah a carving. So when people were here inside the cells in prison, um, they got bored. But you know how you get really bored, and sometimes you rip up paper. <laughs> when these guys, the, the prisoners, got bored, they scratched up the walls. Someone scratched my wall. Why did they scratch the wall? Because they were just like you. Instead of tearing paper, they ripped up, they messed up the walls. Oh, because they were bored. Exactly, because they were bored. Yep. Oh, that one's really, oh, that one's a lion. I think it's supposed to be a lion. They tried. I like that one too. It's a pig. I wish like we could know who did these, each one. I can tell which one of them is the most excited. <laughs> get down! You gotta get you get hurt. Uh, I can't take this kid anywhere. Look at him. <laughs> can't take you anywhere. I think that the fact that you could fall to your death is implied. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going, kid. Oh, look, you can see the cathedral from here. Yep, that's the cathedral. So close, so close. Well, I'm glad somebody's having a good time in here. Hey guys, so we're at kind of our last stop inside the inside of the castle. There's more to the castle on that side as far as like inside the official like castle part where like the kings and queens lived and stuff. I'm currently standing in what's called Queen Mary's Tower, which I don't know what it was used for before, but it's very, it's a good size for a queen like to be imprisoned here. Um, that's what it looks like. But the story of this section, why it's called Queen Mary's Tower, as I said before, is because Queen Mary of Scots, after she had to flee Scotland, ended up here, and she asked her cousin Elizabeth, who was the queen at the time, to give her some shelter. And Elizabeth says, yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, except she ended up giving her, you know, a nice home in her castle. She sent her here to this castle, and she was confined in, I think it's three different levels, for 20 years, with 30 to 40 servants. I mean, being a prisoner for anyone would be terrible, but I mean, it must be especially terrible if you've got 40 servants hanging out with you with lots of ladies' maids. But anyways, this is where it happened. This is also where she passed away. So it's an interesting little piece of history. And you can actually still see where the floors were. They're gone now, but you can see like the holes right there from where the floorboards would have been put in. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, so we are leaving the castle now. We're still in the castle grounds. Um, there's a few interesting things to see in here. Actually, you can't go into all the buildings, um, but, but this castle grounds, not only was it like the castle, for quite a while it served as a military base. And so actually in here, there are a few different military buildings. And the lady in the front told me what they are, but I can't remember all of them. But there is actually a theater school here in the front. And then these next three buildings are actually like reserve centers for different branches. And then there's a design studio in, which one is it? And that building there, and then the military museum is back there. So we're gonna go check out the military museum, and then I think we're gonna get some lunch, because we are hungry. Yum, yeah, so yeah, incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's my food. Yeah, I did look at your food.
Hey guys, welcome back to the car. Um, it's the end of the day now and we're all feeling really tired. After we saw you, we went for a little walk and we started to go to the Hadrian's Wall Walk, but then we realized once we got to the Hadrian's Wall Walk that it was actually a walk to the Hadrian's Wall, not like a walk to where the Hadrian's Wall was. Do you guys know what I mean? But anyways, we're too tired, our feet were tired and we didn't want to walk that far. So anyways, we're doing some meal deal in the car. I've got some sushi um, and a on offer salad. It was two pounds instead of four pounds. Mister, what do you have? Free bean salad. Yeah, and the same salad I have. Mm -hmm. And little man, what are you eating back there? Apple and grape. Mm -hmm. I just a drink. Uh, you got a drink. What kind of drink did you get? Orange juice. And what did you get for a snack for your meal? Um, well, it's a sweet roll. A sandwich roll. Yeah, it's like a. Is it? It's falafel, right, Daddy? Uh, is it falafel? Yes, it's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yes. Ooh, falafel and hummus wrap. Yeah. Usually we don't like to do the meal deals for dinner, but they're great when you're either tired, traveling, or just not into cooking. Um, but it's like almost 7 p.m. and little Ben goes to bed in an hour from now, so we need to eat and also drive 40 minutes back to where we're staying and then go to bed. So. Anyways, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. I might extend it a little bit to show you guys some of Hadrian's wall if we stop by there later in our trip. Jury's on that, but yeah, I'm gonna eat a salad and we're gonna drive home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.